In this numerical problem, we'll be using instantaneous centers to do velocity analysis of this six bar mechanism. We have been given all the link lengths and angles so that we can plot a space or configuration diagram to scale. Additionally, we know the angular velocity of crank OA. We begin by numbering links one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we start locating the instantaneous centers that we readily know. For example, the instantaneous center 2, 3 is a pin connecting 3 and 2. The instantaneous center 3, 4 is a pin connecting link 3 and link 4 and so on. Because we have 6 links here, we will have 15 instantaneous centers. The formula is the number of links n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2. So 6 into 5 divided by 2 is 15. To keep track of these, we will use a road map. This shows the links as points. So for six links, we have these six points and the instantaneous centers are lines connecting them. So instantaneous center of two, three here will be shown as a line two, three on the road map. So here are all the centers that we know now shown in the road map as well. Next, we find the instantaneous centers of the sliders, which will be at infinity on lines perpendicular to their guides like this. We have shown them in the road map over here, 1, 5 and 1, 6. You might notice that it has formed a quadrilateral now, 1, 2, 3, 5. Such quadrilaterals are very useful in finding more centers because we can apply Kennedy's theorem of three centers being collinear. It says that the center 2, 5 will lie on a line that connects the center 2, 3 and 5, 3. Similarly, it will also lie on the line that connects the center 1, 2 and center 1, 5. So we draw the two lines and wherever they intersect, we can locate center 2, 5. Similarly, we find the other uh, diagonal 1, 3 by connecting the centers 1, 2 and 2, 3 and another line connecting centers 1, 5 and 5, 3. Wherever those lines intersect, we get the center 1, 3. This has given us a new quadrilateral, say 1, 3, 4, 6 now. Its diagonal 1, 4 can be found in a similar manner. And finally, we have this quadrilateral now, whose diagonal 2, 4 can also be found. So we have all the centers that we would need for solving this problem. We are all set for calculations now. To find omega 3, we will apply the formula V is equal to R omega twice. First, we take this point I23, which is common to link 2 and 3, treat it as a part of link 2 and find its linear velocity by R, the length of link 2, into omega of 2. That is the numerator of this expression. Then we treat that point as a part of a link 3 and divide its linear velocity that we just found by its distance from the instantaneous center of link 3. So now we are using V divided by R is equal to omega. Knowing the angular velocity of link 3 helps us find the linear velocity of this point 3, 5. Because this is situated on link 3, its distance from link 3's instantaneous center of rotation multiplied by omega of link 3 gives us its linear velocity. But that linear velocity will be the velocity of the entire slider because it is part of the slider as well. And the slider is in translation. So velocity of one point is velocity of all points on the slider. To find angular velocity omega 4, let's take point 2, 4. First, we treat it as part of link 2 and find its linear velocity using r into omega of 2. And then we divide that linear velocity by its distance from the instantaneous center of link 4. So V divided by R gives us omega. Then we use that omega, omega 4, and the center I14 and 46 over here to find the velocity of this slider. Since it is on link 4, its distance from link 4's center multiplied by link 4's omega would give us its velocity which is nothing but the velocity of slider as well. 